Hey everyone, it's Finney McMahon here, and I wanted just to put together a video just to connect with my community on a nice sunny day here in Fort Collins. You know, like wow, what a what a wild experience I'm sure all of us have been having um, with what we're dealing with here. I uh, I just wanted to share with you guys just some of the thoughts that I've had over the weekend. Um, you know, the first thing I've been thinking about is that I think the most important thing for me as a leader is to is to maintain this strong community that we have in our academy, all right? I think that's one of the, the most important things that keeps all of us training in the martial arts is this sense of belonging to something. And I think that right now with, you know, with all this social distancing and a lot of businesses and community centers being closed down, I think that's one of the biggest challenges that we're dealing with is just not having that, that sense of belonging and connecting with people, all right? So some of you guys may know, I think most of you guys don't know, but before I got into jiu-jitsu, I was doing video production work. I used to like work uh, on the Gauley River out in West Virginia. I would go down in my kayak and I would like I would like videotape the rafts like coming down the rapids. So this is something I've done before and, and starting tomorrow, we're going to launch online classes, all right? Um, it's still a little bit of a work in progress. My idea is that each day we're going to have a kids jiu-jitsu class. We're going to have an adult jiu-jitsu class, and we're going to have a Muay Thai class, all right? I'd like to see if I can have the videos drop on, like, YouTube, um, you know, at the same time that the, uh, the classes would normally happen at the academy. So, like, our kids' classes are at 415. I like to have the video come out at 415 because I don't know about you guys, but I got two kids at home, and, like, you know, it's, it's challenging to figure out what to do with these little guys, all right? So, so my idea is we'll have, you know, some instruction, have a little warm-up, you know, I, I was thinking for the kids, we would also do some type of prizes, like maybe we'll ask the kids questions, and if they, if they get the answer right, that we'll have some prizes, maybe even for the adults as well. We can ask you guys questions about like the history of jiu-jitsu and, uh, and Muay Thai kickboxing and, and give out prizes and stuff for the, for the students to get it correctly. So, so that's my idea, guys. We'll have more information coming out tomorrow about that, but, uh, but kind of stay tuned. Plan on tomorrow night. We're going to have some videos to start the uh, start this thing out right, all right? Um, you know, secondly, guys, I just wanted to share with you, you know, just the experiences I've had with dealing with stress and competing in both uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and, uh, and mixed martial arts. I remember some of the biggest events that I was training for, you know, I would get really nervous beforehand, you know, like I knew I had this event coming up in about, you know, 10 days or a week from now, and, you know, a lot of times I would end up, I would end up, you know, stressing, when, when I when I first started, right, I would end up stressing. I would end up not sleeping as good, and you know, and that would just compromise my immune system, I believe. And I would end up getting like sick, like the week before the fight. I also saw this happen. Um, I remember having a conversation with one of my good buddies, Tyler Toner. He said the same thing would happen to him. So some of the things I worked on back then, because I feel like right now a lot of us there's just a lot of stress in our community, you know. And so how can we manage this as as martial artists, you know? And so some of the things that I would try to do. Um, you know, first is really try to focus on my breathing, right? I would make sure that I was always taking deep breaths. You know, I think when we stress, we tend to take really shallow breaths. So I encourage everybody throughout the day just to make sure you're breathing, all right? I would also try to, you know, just kind of pause at different times throughout the day. Like I would say like when the phone rang, you know, when I answered the phone, before I answered it, I was just going to pause just for a second just remind myself to take a deep breath, you know, or before I went into a room sometimes, I would just pause. Before I open the, before I open the door, I'm just going to pause for a second and just take a deep breath, all right? So let's make sure we're trying to, you know, at least for myself, focus on our breathing, all right? I would also try to not think about the event too much, right? Because if I just thought about the event all the time, like, then I wouldn't sleep good at night, you know, and it would just, it would burn me out. So something I've decided to do personally is I've stopped watching the news. Now, I want to be really clear with my community. This does not mean that I've stuck my head in the sand, all right? And I'm not paying attention to the current situation. Every day, I'm looking at the CDC websites. I'm looking at the uh, Larimer County, the, uh, it's the health and environmental website. So I'm really staying on top of what's happening in our community. However, I was finding that looking at the news every day was just burning me out and stressing me out, all right? You know, uh, third, I, 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 I uh, um, you know, I like to, uh, I find that meditation has really helped me 
just to stay calm, all right? Now, this is not any kind of a religious thing at all. I know sometimes people tie into the religious aspects of meditation, but you know, for me, it's just, just staying calm. So what I'm doing 15 minutes in the morning, I get up, I just sit down for 15 minutes, and all I do is just count my breaths, all right? I try to not think about anything when I breathe in. One, when I breathe out. Two, I try to count my breaths. I try to stay calm and just kind of focus on my body, all right? Guys, lastly, I would just like to say that, you know, here, we've had our academy here for 13 years, all right? We're a strong community, and, and I, I know that we're going to get this through this thing together, all right? So everybody out there, take care of yourselves. I'm really excited to connect with you guys tomorrow afternoon on these videos, and uh, you guys have a great day.